Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be talking about this year's Higher Education Day rally. And my guest today, uh, the MC and the voice and the energy of that event, Executive Director of the Higher Education Partnership, Gordon Stone. Gordon, thanks for joining us here today. So. Well, my pleasure, Aaron, and it's great to be visiting with uh, all of your viewers of Trojan Television. And uh, well, let's talk a little bit first. Uh, the Higher Education Day rally, big event to gather support for higher education. We're talking about the rally in a little bit, but first off, talk about the higher education partnership and, and what the goal of the partnership is. Well, our organization celebrates 20 years this year. It seems like just the other day when we were, when we were formed, but our, our purpose is still the same, and that is to make sure that the people of this state understand the importance of this industry, of higher education, how we better the lives of people every day. And among those people, obviously, that we focus a lot of attention on are those who have an impact on what we're able to do. You know, we have a state that uh, struggles sometimes to compete for the best jobs. We struggle sometimes when we look at some of our numbers for poverty and, uh, and, and statistics often rank us near the bottom in some of, those, some of those quality of life categories. Well, one of the things we know is that investing in public universities, investing in higher education, motivating our brightest young people to believe that they can achieve whatever goal they have, that, that that's what will turn that uh, around, will make that message a much more positive message for this state. So our job when we were formed was to communicate the university's role and the importance of the university in making sure that every every Alabamian has the opportunity to meet those goals, meet those dreams. And uh, talk about motivating, uh, motivating the students is a part of the rally, this year's rally. Uh, tell us uh, when uh, this year's rally is going to be. Well, it's February 23rd, okay. and as usual, that's a Thursday. We'll be gathering on the uh, steps of the Alabama State House. The purpose of the rally is, is very simple. We want to put faces, we want to put eyes and ears uh, in front of those uh, people that make policy decisions that every day when the legislature is in session, they, they're making decisions that impact our capacity to do the jobs we're uh, we're, we're uh, established to, to do, to perform, to fulfill our missions. So we ask that our uh, institutions uh, uh, participate, and that typically is a, uh, the student audience that responds to that request. We've had as many as 2,500 students who have come from all 14 of our state universities to, to help us uh, make that message uh, very clear to, to those people in policy-making positions. That it'll be a big rally. It'll, it'll be, be a lot rally. of fun, a lot and of energy. I, I have, uh, I have been to almost all of the rallies uh, uh, in a professional capacity, but seeing the crowds there is something to behold. It's, it's traditionally one of the largest rallies to be held on the state house steps, and that's got to say a lot for the motivation of yourself, the, your mission, your message, and the students involved. Well, we've been in this time of the year. We travel to all the universities, and we share with our student leaders. We have a we have a pretty sophisticated network of what we call our stars committees, which are student teams of people advocating realistic solutions solutions to Alabama's problems. We have stars committees on every campus. Those uh, work in, in hand with our SGAs. We have university uh, uh, faculty senates that we work with. We have alumni associations that we work with. We ask all of those those uh, individual groups on all 14 campuses to to uh, to think about how their message needs to be heard, to think about what they can bring to this rally that is unique to their institution, while at the same time being a part of that overall global message. You know, it's we, 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 you often hear us say one third uh, of the funding should go to higher education. That's not just a number we randomly pulled out of the air. That came from 20 years of policy where Alabama just took the took the uh, education trust fund and divided it up so K through 12 knew what they would have, higher education knew what, what we would have. And then we were able to work with that and have a predictable pattern for growing this state uh, based on that. Well, we've gone away from that and now it's very random as to what higher ed may get and what K through 12 may get. We, we, we talk about that because we want to remind those elected officials that that difference between 33% and 26% often is, is a big uh, a contributor to whether or not young people can even go to college mm -hmm. because when it when the state doesn't do its portion what happens we end up depending on tuition we end up depending on fees we end up depending on things that that make it harder for a lot of Alabamians to go to college a number that's scary but but real 23.9 percent of our working population in Alabama has a four-year degree mm. the national average is 30 percent when you have a four-year degree, typically in your employed status over, over your career, you'll make a million dollars or more 
ahead of what somebody without that without degree it. would make. So if you take that and just do the math, that's one of the reasons our per capita income in Alabama is lower than most of the other southern states. Frankly, even nationally, even worse. So how do we fix it? How do we, how do we make Alabama uh, a place where, where opportunities abound? Well, one of the things we do is we encourage more young people to get that four-year degree. And, and it's the pursuit of that degree that's where they discover who they are, where they discover their leadership gifts, where they discover how, how they not only will make a difference in their career, but they'll make a difference in their community by being involved as leaders and difference makers. And they can uh, express that voice at the rally real quick before we leave. Uh, what time and the date again? 11 o'clock, February 23rd. If you believe what I just said is important, if you believe universities need to be uh, empowered, come to the rally. Help us make that statement. Come to have fun. We'll even have a free barbecue free lunch barbecue for everybody who comes. All right, Gordon, well, uh, thank you very much for joining us today, and good luck with this year's rally. Always a big event. Thanks thank for being you very here, much. So. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.